All right, folks, we're here at the Full Gas Sprint Enduro. This is the first one of the year, February 11, 2023. I'm riding the 60 plus open class. So um, pretty much got A, B, and C riders. I'm definitely not an A rider, so you'll see that here. Pretty good race, uh, pretty happy with it. The format was really good. We did uh, five laps on each side of the race. So here you can see I've started a cross test. So we did five laps. The beginning of this test, it was it was uh, a little bit challenging, at least for me. Some of the sand in some of these corners and even the straightaway is really deep. And uh, there were no lot, there were no real lines developed yet. And uh, even through the course of all of us going through this five times, there were spots where there just were no lines. Uh, but course developed real well uh, in most places. So pretty good race. This was not my fastest lap and I, I wouldn't consider any of my laps fast but um, I felt pretty good on it. Did, didn't get too wore out and um, was prepared for uh, the, the next five on the enduro side. I have added the enduro side into this video so probably about halfway through this video you'll see the enduro side.
So as you come through this area, as the uh, as my test went on, uh, I started getting a little bit quicker through here, felt a little bit better. Um, there are a couple spots that no matter what I did, became my nemesis. Uh, this, this, these turns in here developed really well, so I was able to get through here a little bit quicker. Um, and um, a little bit easier as each, each lap went on. Um, the one, one of the things I'm still trying to figure out here is uh, this chest mount uh, with the um, GoPro. So if anybody's got any tips on that, let me know. Seems like if you get into any kind of attack position, um, I, I kind of struggle with it. Um, matter of fact, this section right here is the section that I struggled with uh, pretty deep sand. You'll see a couple guys go by or faster, and they're doing the same thing I did on every single time around this thing. I, I just couldn't figure it out. And I have a feeling it's just I just wasn't going fast enough that I need to get on the back of the bike. And, and, uh, get on the throttle more so if you guys agree please please let me know in the comments there but again as I stand up in here um, you'll see that the camera angle changes a little bit again sorry for that folks um, I'm still trying to figure this thing out for some reason the AMA thinks that uh, having a camera on your helmet is going to give you a head or neck injury uh, I, I, I'll be honest with you I gotta laugh at that and I'm, a, I'm an IT data guy analyst and to be honest with you I'd love to see the data that, that shows that that's the case I just don't buy it so it makes it kind of difficult with the chest mount I think uh, I think I've seen a lot of videos where people struggle with it but interesting enough if you got any tips on that one let me know I'm, I'm open to uh, try to change it uh, to make it better Coming into the finish of the cross test here, this is actually a, a really fun part. Again, this is my first lap. I was just trying to feel it out. I'm never going to be as fast as that guy, um, but it was kind of cool to watch these watch these young guys go through here. They put the they put the, um, the, the the sportsman behind us, which I think probably they should put in front of us. But these turns in here really started to um, to develop some really great lines throughout the course of the race so by by the time we hit the fifth lap it was really super fun to uh, to, to ride through here um, also watching the pros come in here um, on, on this section right here in particular was pretty amazing the, as fast as they go through here uh, it just blew me away actually watching them gives me a little anxiety so um, but again uh, super fun course uh, I, 
I think everybody in our group, we had uh, eight or nine of us, uh, really enjoyed it, and uh, everybody did really great. So, great start to the day. Okay, so we're over on the enduro test now. We've finished our five laps on the cross test. Uh, this was my first lap, and weirdly enough, I did not, I felt good on it. I, I, I didn't stress myself out or anything like that. I, I felt pretty good, but I think from a riding perspective, I didn't think it was my fastest lap. Actually, I thought that my second and third laps were quicker than this one. And it turns out, as is always the case, this was my quickest lap. Again, quick is relative. It was quick for me, but um, in general, it probably was uh, much slower than what it needed to be. I think throughout these things, I need to pick up the speed and maybe I won't get bounced around as much. Uh, again, if you guys have comments or tips, let me know. Um, I also think my suspension is probably a little bit too soft here. So I probably could have used some more air in the forks, and um, and uh, I'm betting my sag is a little bit off in the rear. Not that that's necessarily going to make a huge difference for me if I don't ride a little quicker, but um, I think it definitely would have helped some. Um, this was a really fun uh, course here. Uh, I don't know if the um, the video here is going to show it or not, but there were a lot of exposed routes. And um, as the, the five tests went on after this one being the first, they started to get a little bit more exposed. Now, the, um, the pro classes, the, uh, the pros, A's and B's, had 30 done five laps on this. So it was carved in pretty good. And uh, any place where there are exposed roots or, or anything, I don't know, you know, slightly, slightly gnarly, um, was definitely exposed at that point. So. Uh, the amateur classes that I'm in, we got hit up with those pretty quick. Um, as the test went on in this one, we definitely started to see more exposed routes, and there were some routes that uh, ran down the length of the trail, some that crossed at angles and things like that. So at least from my perspective, being an older dude, I was just trying to be careful and not take a dirt nap someplace. And as you can see, there goes the sportsman guys. They're going to pass me a couple times in here, pretty much passed everybody again. I think that's one of the re recommendations I'd make to the full gas folks. And one of the guys acknowledged it while we were in line that we probably should have put the sportsman, the young sportsman kids, um, a little further up front uh, rather than behind us. Older folks don't quite ride quite as quick. At any rate, this, is a, this was actually a super fun test. I really enjoyed it. Um, And as the, uh, as the day went on, it got a little darker. And then I think on the last test, we started to get a little bit of rain. So some spots started getting a little bit slicker. But it was all good. Um, everybody did great. Everybody finished. Um, everybody drove home, which is great. Uh, they didn't get a ride home. Um, I'll, I'll leave that for you guys to interpret. But um, we had a really great time.
So this section here I watched a couple of videos of from the race last year. It's the same section. And you know, when I'm watching the videos, I'm thinking, all right, I can rip through here. Uh, didn't quite end up that way. And uh, there were some breaking bumps and things like that and a couple spots where there's some, I wouldn't call them whoops, I'd call them holes in the ground. So it was a little bit harder for me than I expected. And uh, I did not rip through here. I just kind of took my time. At this point, though, even though this is my first test on the Enduro course, I'm looking to try to finish this thing. Um, I ended up doing pretty good overall. And I think it's just because I stayed consistent and I didn't DNF. And um, I just kept my speed where I felt comfortable. And um, so. It, this is a pretty cool section. Um, there was this mud hole here, um, a couple guys stuck here. Um, the best line here was to the right, and uh, some folks were taking the middle, like one of our guys in our group, for some reason, he, he's attracted to the middle of that thing. I mean, his bike was just black mud by the time he got done. It was pretty funny. We were, we were laughing because he was racing with one of our other guys, and uh, one of them came through, and his bike's filled with mud. And, black mud, that black mud you saw there, the other one, his bike's clean as a whistle, so we're kind of looking at it like, well, which lines are you guys picking, because I want to know that guy's line. So, pretty fun, um, having a good time here. actually know what I'm doing here as I watch the video of myself I'm thinking to myself I, I know how to ride this wood stuff and I, uh, I don't know why I was going so slow I again I think actually riding it slower was a disadvantage um, because um, obviously if you're riding slower some of those routes and things like that you tend to um, uh, have them affect you a little bit more rather than just kind of riding faster over and getting it over with. Um, so <clears throat> a little bit of struggles in here. I don't know if they're struggles or I was just trying to play it safe. I, I don't know, but uh, I, I know I can do better in there. It's always interesting when you when you do your own videos and you start watching them and you think of all the things that you could do differently. Um, there, I, I've probably got, I've probably got 20, 20 different things I could have done differently in this. Uh, and, uh, and one of them is just kind of being confident on the throttle and, and, and going a little bit quicker. I think it would have actually made the ride easier as I, as I look at this. Also, I think that I'm one of those folks that I like to set up my suspension for the season and not touch it again, and that's probably a mistake also. Again, hey, comments, perfectly well, welcome if you've got them. Um, uh, I am an older guy. Um, going to continue to do some races here and there. I'm not racing a series. I've done that before. Um, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and pick a few races a year that I'm going to go out and do. Um, one for sure, I'll do the, the National Enduro, the Dragons back up in Virginia. That's a fantastic race. Really, really liked that one last year until I crashed. I'm going to try to avoid that stuff also. But um, any rate, thanks for watching my videos. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you do like the videos, please subscribe and um, have a good day.